Hey everyone, it's Mr. J. So out here again today. I've changed my forge up another time here. Uh, the more I look at other people's forges, the more I notice that, well, you know, the more major forging they're doing, they don't have a brake drum or a brake rotor. Maybe sometimes they'll have a brake drum at the center, but this is an old uh, part of a Christmas tree stand that I just cut out a two inch hole welded on exhaust pipe same thing I had set up before the old hair dryer but it's a lot deeper and it actually seems like it makes me go through less coal because I just got that nice hot spot in the center that I can control with either the air control down on the bottom here or with the hair dryer to make the size of the hot spot get bigger or smaller and as you can see I got a little another little miniature horseshoe in there that I haven't used that much coal to make so far so seems to be working pretty good and let me show you real quick this miniature horseshoe I'm trying to make it nice and accurate I even started making a little clip on the front and I'm just using a ball peen hammer with that but anyways we'll get back to you when we're done with this alright so I don't know how well you can see but I got a little clip on that horseshoe and I'm welding up one of the branches to cut little grooves into it which I use what I got here a little chisel for putting the fuller lines in and then a little punch that I forged square rectangle square to put the little nail marks make it look like a real horseshoe and so you can already figure probably who I'm going to give this to but anyways just uh I guess practicing in miniature really for what I hope to be able to do someday in real life. So, anyways, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good day. Hey everyone, so I made another miniature horseshoe. This one's only made out of 3 8 mild steel. But this time I tried to add a clip to the front. And, uh, turned out decent. I don't have the right hammer on. Only using the ball peen hammer, but seemed to work out decent. But anyways, and uh, I just cut grooves into it and hammered a few punch marks into it. I didn't punch them all the way through or anything. Just sort of trying to make it, you know, look like a horseshoe and uh, plan on hopefully one day trying to become a farrier. And uh, so I'm sort of practicing up on the techniques and uh, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy that, and uh, my new forge, and uh, anyways, thanks for watching.